Only two people have seen my final form, and they're all dead. Look at my sexy skills. I ain't no little mermaid. I'm the mermaid. Why he had to go ahead and use part of my people for, for this? <laughs> man i love these damn videos man so these demons must be stopped is the titling of this damn video for today so without further ado let's uh, let's go ahead let's get into it these demons must be stopped let's get into this damn video y'all let's do it Got demon shards, you Tadro, like that submarine cooked them billionaires. EDP demons pulling up on kids like, Oh, hi, I'm here to pick up a cupcake. And then you got Dunkin' Donuts employee of the century. Oh my god. These motherfuckers must be stopped, bro. Before we get into all that, we gotta go back to the beginning. So the cancer is finally catching up to this nigga. Better make a wish, buddy. Your time has come. Either way, that means we finally getting closer to seeing Muzan getting his cheeks clapped in a 12 Hashra gangbang in HD, nigga. I don't know if that's how Demon Slayer ends, I'm just guessing. Anyways, for all that, he needs to cause a ruckus in Lego City. So this man summoned Akaza off his lunch break, as well as the rest of the Demon Dick Riders to the Infinity Castle, and we meet our two assholes for the season. Yoko, who's basically just some creepy ass nigga in a pot, and Han Tengu, who's really just a pussy ass motherfucker. Probably likes to watch his girlfriend get fucked on weekends like Sneeko. Oh, yeah, there's also this light skinned ass motherfucker, Doma. And Koko Shibo's edgy ass. Like, what the fuck are you doing hiding in the corner like an hey, iPad yo. kid, nigga? Go play with your friends. Muzan's late as hell, so while they're waiting, this nigga Doma just starts moaning in Akaza's ear, like, oh, I can't wait to go and gobble this woman I got at home. You hear that? I eat pussy. And he's just trying to get out because I'm mad as shit. You know I'm a feminist. And just obliterates this motherfucker's jaw. Anyway, so Muzan finally pulls up and he's like, You useless motherfuckers. All y'all shut your bitch asses up. These demon slayers are cooking us. We are down like 20, nigga. If I have to add one more name to my Instagram bio, what the fuck are y'all doing? Oh, uh, well, Muzan. You did kind of kill all the lower ranks for no reason whatsoever. It's kind of your fault. I beg your pardon? Right, what? Trying to say I'm a dumb, small, dick-having bitch, huh? You wanna die, nigga? And this motherfucker's not even worried about dying, bro. He's like, oh my god. Muzan's touching me. I'm so hard. Muzan doesn't kill him, though, because he somehow nasty. miraculously found the Swordsmith Village, and they pull up just ready to start a ruckus in Lego City. Starting with this innocent civilian that Gyokuro just does so wrong. Man, why the fuck we gotta wear these goofy-ass masks? How the fuck am I supposed to pull bad bitches with this on? He then stumbles upon this beautifully crafted vase just sitting out in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. Like, come on. If you see a random ass vase, you're going to investigate, nigga. So he walks up, reaches in. Oh my goodness! This nigga just chewed him up and then spat him out. Had this man looking like ground beef, bro. Then El listen. Moral of the story is: if you see a random ass vase, vase, out in the streets late at night, don't go up to it. <laughs> You got exactly what it is that you was looking for, and it was this. Proceed. Elsewhere. You got this nigga with what seems to be herpes on his forehead, just chilling on a roof, and inside, these two are just vibing out. Tanjiro, Tanjiro, wake up. Huh? Pass the blunt, nigga. How did you fall asleep? I fell asleep? What? Where's Nezuko? She's on your lap. Oh. Dumbass nigga. Is this your first time? Oh no, I, I, I do this shit all the day. 420, bro. Mm. Do you smell that, bro? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what I'm the sorry. fuck? Why is he crying? Tanjiro's just sitting there completely perplexed. Because normally he would have smoked this man from a mile away with his musty ass. But Micho ain't even paused. He goes on straight timing immediately. No questions asked. Just tried to chop this man's head off. Oh, stop. Y'all gonna make me shit myself. I just ate two niggas on the way here and ain't sitting right. The fuck you mean you ate two niggas? Fine, you mixtape! And this dude's just dodging everything fabulously. So Nez goes like, <laughs> They are just jumping this man. But when they managed to cut off his noggin, this man switched anime, started transforming into the Warhammer Titan, just to get the dog shit punched out of him. Sasageo! Sasageo! Shinzo! Okay, I'm sorry. 
What actually happened was he gave birth to a twin, and the one with the Korok leaf just swatted Mitro to Kingdom Come. So now it's just Tanjiro and Nezuko against these two herpy forehead demons, and before they can even start squabbling, he Had bro looking like he's either getting electrocuted or some of that Ash Cash treatment. Uh, does, does that nigga have a blicky? Why is this motherfucker Genya just casually chilling on top of the roof with a sawed off shotgun? Bang, bang. He played duck hunt with these niggas' heads. These here motherfuckers got me all the way fucked up. <laughs> what the f? How did he get a strap? This ain't Chirac. So Genya cuts his head off, and Tantra's like, You dumbass, you're just making more of them. Huh? Now there's so many of these fuckers, it looks like a bang bro scene. Oh, Anyways, Tantra gets joined by this bird nigga. So he starts yelling at to Genya to save his ass, but uh, <laughs> he's a little busy. Busy getting turned into a shish kebab. Bro really got that Krillin treatment. You need to worry about yourself, gang. Huh? Nigga say I'm out of town, I'm in Hong Kong. I'm just trying to get this cash in Hong Kong. My ears, bro. That shit was ass. You just swept my homie's mixtape. Not again. Anyway, so now we're back at Mucho after he got his ass poppy ulted at the fuck out of the battle. He's hauling ass trying to get back when he notices a little jit fighting a level 99 magic carp. Running out on rare candies. He's just watching like. Majin. Majin, is that you, gang? Damn, yeah, bro. I, uh, look at you. You made it into the fucking Demon Slayer, bro. <laughs> yeah, he gonna be alright. You asshole! Come back, I have perks! Hold on, he say perks? So he saved his little ass, added plus one useless nigga to his party. Now, while they're running together, he finds another plus one useless nigga. But this one actually has direction. So then they start running again, and the random's like, There it is! The shed where I put your sword! Just grab it, you can kill all these fuckers! Hold your horse's penis mouth. It's not a penis, we're whistling. It's here. And then the meat grinder from earlier rolls out. And I love how Mitro just shoves both of them out of the way. Like, look, bro, there's 100% enough space for him to just squeeze by. But he's supposed to be an asshole. Anyways, he comes out of the pot like a suspicious fluid. And he's all, it's a pleasure to meet you three soon-to-be victims. My name is Gyoko. I love to have intimate sex with faces. Can I show you guys some? Hey, uh, please kill this guy quickly. He's uh making really strong eye contact with me. <laughs> Nigga, what eyes? <laughs> Behold. Uh don't, don't mind all that, that's just my nut. I call it the leaning tower of niggas. <laughs> Isn't it completely fucked up? I don't even think I can show this on YouTube. Oh, and this is the best part. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> you see, this kid's crying, but like knowing me, I was such a fucked up kid. I'd probably start laughing with the dude, bro. Anyway, so he's having a blast, right? But Mutro with the cadence of Moist Critical is like, you better cut that out. That's my nigga Kyle in there. And if y'all are wondering why all these non-black demon slayers are saying the n-word, what a fucking well, well, who's gonna stop them? <laughs> you nigga. <laughs> Plus Tanjiro Swords Black, he gets a pass. Man. Anyway, so this dude hit a missed down no jutsu. Tried to take this man's head in one fell swoop. Did I just say one fell swoop? I ain't never said that my entire life. Anyways, he dodged it, and he's all, I don't even care about your homie Kyle. I just like to fuck face. <laughs> Yo, that's why I love Muchiro, bro. He is not about all that yapping. He's just trying to find his next pack to smoke. Anyway, so then Pothead pulls out two level 30 magic cards, and they just start spamming toothpick. He dodges them, but then one of the fish is like, those two random bystanders minding their business? Yeah, fuck them. Got this dude looking like a porcupine. Mutual's a better man than me, bro. I am not tanking all those toothpicks. I would have stood my ass back and watched them get turned into Swiss cheese. Like, damn, that's crazy. Nah, Swiss Anyways, cheese. Anyways, he is runs crazy. that speed blitz again, and Vase Blaster just eats it and then puts him in a Kuchi Water no Jutsu like he was Kakashi. <laughs> So Genya's currently chilling on 2 HP, no shield. And Nezuko's wrestling this guy while he's dead ass <laughs> laughing in her face. Would you hurry up and kill that bitch? Girl, I'm angry. Focus on yourself, bro. I'm trying to riz her up. Put her in my Duke Dennis Riz compilation. <laughs> You're weird as hell, gang. I'm pretty sure she's actually 12. Moose, I gotta do something about all these EDP ass demons he's picking up, man. Wait, what? <laughs> Make America great again. <laughs> And just like that one toxic ass jet that's in all my Valorant games, the group leader is just flaming his team every single second. Like, why are you getting clipped like that, Aizetsu? Girl, I'm angry. Niggas about to put you in an AMV. <laughs> So this man just rips his spear out, snaps his neck back into place, and basically clowns him for not being a demon. He starts to move on, but then this motherfucker starts whispering something under his breath. Donald, Donald Trump. Donald the Trump, fuck is he saying? Donald.
I don't know, nigga. Just kill him. Stop. You don't have to yell at me. You're hurting my feelings. So we tried to end him. My lord and savior, Donald Trump, has rejuvenated me. It looks like he's about to chop him, but... This man is now taking a spear straight through his lung, followed up by a literal lightning strike, and he still gets his shot off. After seeing that, this nigga goes... From EDP to James Charles on the sides, he's done with Nezuko. Shoved his stank ass feet right through her, bruh. Now, after seeing what Nezuko did to Taki, you should know she is not one to play with. She goes, open wide, nigga. And just kicked this man's entire mouth wide open. Ripped her own arm off, and then used her own blood to hit him with that poor legal fire. But Shorty's not done yet. She yoinks this dude's arm. This dude's on the sidelines. It's like, stop playing with the good sis, bro. But then she uses his own Korok leaf against him and blasts him away. Nuzco's actually just a different fucking breed, bro. Damn, nigga, okay, maybe not. Anyways, back to these two. Yoko's just cheesing over how Mutual's about to drown in the Kuchiwara no Jutsu he put him in. So he dips to go investigate the shack that they were rushing so hard to be insane. And Mutual's like, I can do this. I got one more left in me. Mist breathing. First form. Get me the fuck out of this bullshit. Well, I've tried everything I can. I'm cooked. Damn. Stop acting like a little bitch. Huh? You're acting like a bitch. Now go have a super cliche flashback that awakens your random power up. No, I can't. That would just be terrible writing. Okay, what about if this kid gets stabbed? <laughs> so then we get another flashback of a Hashiro's backstory. And why does every Hashiro have damn near the same story? Parents dead, have to thug it out alone as kids. EDP demon comes in like, Oh, hi, I'm here to pick up a cupcake. <laughs> the future Hashiro violates him. And then boom, Demon Slayer Mark. Anyway, so whole time Mutual's been begging for plot armor. Gyoko's been in the shed beating the fuck out of my goat. Don't kill me if I butcher his name. Hotoro Kaganezoko Ka. <laughs> Anyways, he's been whooping his ass because he's been so locked in perfecting Tanjiro's BBC Nichiren sword that he hasn't even noticed the vase molester's presence. He's like, oh, maybe if I kill this random nigga in the corner, he'll acknowledge me. We. <laughs> What the fuck? How did he escape? Whatever. Hentai Haven Hell! Oh! <laughs> so after all of that, this dude's bragging about his sus ass attack until he looks to the left and that motherfucker is still honing that blade. I ain't gonna lie, I think that nigga's just brain dead. It don't matter. I'm about to put all y'all in a shirt anyway. Huh? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when shit got serious. That map of budget kicked in and nigga started weaving all his tentacles, turned his whole attack into calamari, and then tried to give him a game over screen, but he teleports just in time. And he's like, <laughs> that was a quick attack, but you still can't keep up with my teleportation speed. Are you sure about that? It's over for you, bro. You're just a plot device for me to get stronger. Ugh, Moist Critical thinks he can talk shit, huh? He teleports behind him and tries to squirt on him, but Mitro just weaves through it nah, and slices it. Crazy. Then this man spawns more Magikarp, but Mitro just completely swags on them. This man cannot be stopped right now. Motherfucker just starts completely roasting him. I kid you not, he literally says, I'm not underestimating you. I'm just stating a fact. You're going to get your head joint simply because I'm Himasaurus Rex. And then he calls his face ugly, and that's when Gyoko just loses it. Damn. Sends 10,000 fish at him, but once again, he just weaves it, turns them all into sashimi, goes for his neck again, but that's when this motherfucker circumcises himself and reveals his final form. Oh, you now you've done it. Only two people have seen my final form, and they're all dead. Look at my sexy skills. I ain't no little mermaid, bitch. I'm the nigga mermaid. Why? Why? I don't remember this part. I don't remember this part. Why he had to go ahead and use part of my people for, for this? I will, I will not, I will not condone this. I will not condone this. Y'all better not say shit in the comments, neither. Say something, aren't I menacing? Buddy, you're literally a mermaid. Am I supposed to be scared? This mermaid's about to whoop your ass! I don't like where this is going. Nigga, you're a side character. You don't even have a backstory. Damn. And he just cuts his head off. Neutral is too cold, bro. 
I just graduated high school, y'all. Sorry for the delay, bro. If y'all want part two, 10,000 likes and I'm dropping it, buddy. Love y'all. Peace. Yo. <laughs> hey, listen. <clears throat> We're not gonna talk about that last part, okay? We're, we're not gonna go into the last part. Thank you very much. But hey, listen, shout out to Ola, W. Ola. Man, love Demon Slayer as it is. That's probably one of my favorite anime as it is. The movies, the movies of fucking Demon Slayer has made your girl get all different types of emotions. But I love, I love it. I love Demon Slayer. I'm ready for the next season. So, that being said, W. Ola, W. Reactions.